everyone. In this video, we will be making a clap switch circuit. So if you made, if you clap or make loud sounds near the microphone, then an LED will turn on for a certain amount of time, and then it'll automatically turn off. And this is because we added a triple five timer I see on monostable mode, which is optional, but way better than just turning the LED on for like a millisecond. Place a transistor on the board and connect a 470 ohm resistor between the collector of the transistor and the positive rail. Then you connect a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor in the, between the base of the transistor and the negative rail. After that, connect the emitter of the transistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then you can connect your microphone. So we connect the positive of the microphone to the positive rail and the negative to the transistor's base. So connect the output or the collector of the transistor to the base of your second transistor. Then connect the emitter of that transistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. So now our clap switch is complete, but we want to make it to go for a little bit long when we clap. So we need to put a triple five timer IC on monostable mode to accomplish this. Also, you have to connect the collector of that transistor to the positive rail of the breadboard via a 1K to create a monostable circuit, we connect pin 4 to pin 8, pin 6 to pin 7, pin 1 to the negative rail, and pin 8 to the positive rail. After that, we want to connect a 100 kilo ohm resistor between pin 8 and pin 7. Then we take a capacitor of your choice, depending on how much delay time you want. You can check out my video in the description about the delay timer circuit. We connect the positive to pin 6 and the negative to the negative rail. I have no videos on this, but we want to connect the two together. So we connect the collector of our second transistor or the output to, the, to a 100 nanofarad capacitor, either side. This one, this picture is a little bit incorrect because it shows the base, but you need to connect the collector. And then you want to connect the other side of our capacitor to pin two of our IC. Also, in this image, the microphone should be on the positive rail. Finally, place an LED's positive on pin three of the IC and it's negative to the negative rail via a 270 ohm resistor or whatever is good for a nine volt battery or so.